General Coach Canada. Today we are going to have a look at a custom trailer that we have built for the Canadian Coast Guard. We'll start at the front. As you can see, this has a checker plate rock guard, a checker plate toolbox on the front that houses the batteries, as well as some storage capabilities for your cords or anything like that. We've got a 5,000 pound side wind uh, front jack, as well as 3,000 pound stabilizer jacks to support the unit when you get it on site. As we walk around to the side, you'll notice that the checker plate continues down the entire unit uh, skirt, around the back, and of course on the other side as well. As we're going through this unit, you're going to notice there's three doors. There is three accesses to it, so you can get into each of the rooms from outside. Everyone has a swing out handle as well as fold down steps from inside. Just like that. You'll notice as we walk down the side, this has a 16 foot uh, black awning, as well as you see a GFI on the side by the door, and you'll notice another one on the back side as we come around that way. We've got a fiberglass fender skirt that is custom designed just for us. Uh, very strong in comparison to uh, competitors' units. As well as, you'll notice, galvanized hub tires. So that there's no rusting or anything like that as they go towards the oceans and everything else with regards to the Coast Guard. Two other doors, obviously. The second door enters into the kitchen dining area. The third one is into the bathroom, which is why we have the vacancy, non-vacancy indicator on the outside here as well as on the inside door uh, so that you have some privacy when you're in there. As we roll around to the back here, again, you notice your checker plate carries on as well as we've added two toolbox checker plates on the back that again allow for more storage. You can hang your cords in here, um, blocks, anything like that that you need for the setup. Down below is where you're going to have access to your water tanks, the, the valves for it, as well as your tire carrying um, holder is down here as well. So that will slide out and then your tire un unhooks if you need it and you can put it on. This whole area is insulated as well as heated so it can withstand some cold weather. You'll also notice that the back bumper is galvanized. The entire unit is actually galvanized. The main frame is a hot dip galvanized. You've got stabilizer jacks on the back that are 2,000 pounds a piece. Again, for stability once you get it on site and on location. Backside's not as, uh, not as much to look at here, but again, you're looking at a high gloss fiberglass exterior with that checker plate on the bottom got a couple of thermal pane windows showing here, One for the, uh, both are actually in the kitchen living room area. Again, another GFI receptacle on the back, as well as your main hookups for the hydro. So everything is separated onto separate circuits, um, all 30 amp, except your main is a 50, and these are all individual cords, so you don't have to plug them all at the same time. You know, you're obviously not going to run your air conditioning at the same time you're running your heat. So you don't necessarily need each of these plugged in, but it just allows you that diversity to, to plug in what you need. Of course, all of your technical information is on our stickers in the front here. Um, transport approvals, CSA approvals, and of course all your weights are listed here as well. That's about it for the outside of the trailer. The next we're going to uh, have a quick look at the inside. Follow me. You'll notice as you're walking in the door that this is, again, basically the kitchen dining area. You've got a 12 cubic foot fridge freezer, uh, built-in microwave, single bowl stainless steel sink with a high quality faucet, as well as soap dispenser. Again, a couple of GFIs on there in case you need to plug in a kettle or anything like that. You move forward into here. This is basically where the table and chairs are gonna go. Uh, there's enough seating for eight people in here. Uh, and when not in use, 
That will all get stacked up on here, and these little clamps will get used to tie it down for transportation. In here we have our main hydro connections. You can see that that's all tidy uh, and neat and labeled, both in French and English. We do also have wall heaters throughout the unit. So in this particular area, there are two, and then there's one in the dryer area and one in the bathroom area. I'll just have you come in here quickly. This is basically where the dryers are. So these units are both air and heat dry. Uh, the idea is that they will come in here, put their uniforms and gloves and everything else on here to dry when, as they take a break um, from whatever it is they're doing. You also have an exhaust fan in each room uh, to make sure that the humidity uh, doesn't get too high because you are dealing with wet products in this area. Uh, you got to make sure you circulate that air and keep that uh, fresh. So then at the other end of the trailer as you walk through you're going to notice here is your uh, climate control as well as tank leveling uh, uh, indicators, a couple of light switches to run your lighting outside and inside. And then you're going to walk through a pocket door here that's going to take you into the bathroom where you have a single bowl sink, mirror, uh, and of course everything else that you would expect in a bathroom. It has an RV toilet with the holding tanks underneath as we looked at outside. Disposal uh, bin there. And again a heater here on the wall. And that's about it for the inside. Let you have one more look at the exterior here, just so you can see it. That is our new custom built unit for the Coast Guard. Thanks for watching.